Old Orbit is steady. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. I think we should head to the vault. Do some poking around there. Need some Sounds action. risky. We might break it again. Our people aren't Maybe causing you any trouble, are they? She wouldn't break Not it. at all. They've been a big help, and Dr. McIntyre has been sharing wonderful stories about your galaxy. It's good to know that not all aliens are like the Ket. I should get going. Stars be bright for you, Pathfinder Rider.
New supplies, fresh from the Nexus, and a few from my secret partners. Plan to build the first Angara Nexus trading company. Lone Star Enterprises. <laughs> Gotta remember where I started, you know. Hey, you wanna be an early investor? What do I get for investing? Today, great supplies. Tomorrow, who knows? Ports didn't do this world justice. It's... ethereal. Director Addison? No personal appearance? It might have been an outpost. Thank you, but no. I prefer climate control to... these extremes. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. And the stability you brought? I received a thank you from Aya. That may be the first time I've heard those words in Andromeda. After the Ket, and what they've seen of the Exiles, we had to be at our best. We've had precious few examples of that. Pathfinder might be getting close. Havaral helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. It's promising, and a lot of people have noticed. And there's another matter, a ceremonial one. A statement for the Archives. Is this really the time? Pathfinder was always a symbol. Like outpost flags hanging in the commons, the people need a connection to reality on the ground. Address them, Pathfinder. What did this mean? This is Havaral. I didn't find an outpost. I found Angara, and saw a piece of who they are. We're welcome to help here. It's not ours. It's all of ours. I think that makes the whole cluster closer to home. Into the books, Pathfinder. At us now. Ah, you'll be the Pathfinder then. Dr. McIntyre from the Nexus. Ryder, welcome to Havarl. She'll be more welcoming now that you put the vault back on track. The Angara invited us to monitor plant growth and study ruins out in the jungle. It's the chance of a lifetime. You know how Tavos found the monolith, right? Reincarnated memories? Aye, I heard. One for the textbooks. You believe him? But you're a scientist. Asari share thoughts and memories. Prothean text speaks in visions. Those are scientific facts. There's more to people than what can go under a microscope, lad. Be careful around those monoliths. There might be more stasis fields. We think they only affect Angara, but who knows? Oh, we know. Make no mistake. I have a check-in system ready. Whether young Farley remembers it when he's chasing butterflies is another matter. What does your team do here? Zera is our botanist. She'll be minding the plants and designing an artificial habitat for them. She also happens to be an engineer. Asari. One profession's never enough. Then there's young Farley. Easier for the insects. And you? I'm the xenoanthropologist. A fancy word for talking to the Angara about those runes. And listening. I imagine you've spoken to Kieran Dahls already? She's the one who invited us, aye. Fussed over us something terrible. But she's a fine lady, and hopefully a good colleague down the road. I plan to listen to her. Good luck, McIntyre. Safe journeys, Ryder.
find a writer. Dr. Tsana Rilar, xenobotanist for the initiative, and my colleague, Dr. Eric Baumgarten. Xenogenetics. Pleasure to meet you. No offense, but you probably shouldn't be out here alone. I'm not alone. I'm with her. She's quite fierce. Your report of accelerated evolution and rapid growth of nature here caught our interest. We're analyzing everything we can for clues to replicate the effects on our own crops. It would have interesting applications, if there's a way to control the process. Uh -huh. You understand the end goal. If we learn to enhance the growth of plants and animals in non-destructive ways, we could end hunger. It would change everything for the initiative. Our colonies could thrive virtually overnight. Since you repaired the vault, things are returning to normal, but too quickly for us. The accelerated life forms you want to study are dying off, decaying. We're scrambling to scan and catalog everything before it's gone. We could use some help. Point me to life forms you need. I'll do the rest. Anything mutated beyond its baseline growth cycle will aid our work. I'll provide the most promising genetic markers to scan for. Thank you for whatever help you can provide, Pathfinder. Rendezvous here when you're finished. Initiative researchers might benefit from scans of the mutated wildlife nearby. <laughs> The life forms in this area display accelerated growth markers. The malfunctioning vault affected this area. I recommend scanning for accelerated growth.
I detect an Andromeda plant sample nearby. Dr. Camden would find this useful. Oh, right. The garden. Botanist Pathfinder. Andromeda plant sample detected nearby. Green. I can feel my allergies flaring. Bring up already. It's stuff like this that makes everything worthwhile. Get ready to fight! Come on, let's get him.
It's possible we could discover something new from what you found. We should take it for further analysis. The Zingara carried more than weapons. They had research tech, data pads. Let's find out why. The Rokar were studying mutant wildlife, too. They want to use it against us. The data pad mentions a camp. Up. Dating known data. Mission parameter. Back to the Tempest.
Sam, what do you get from this? Analyzing. The Rokar took special interest in mutations that would poison a natural environment. They want to make our colonies unlivable. What are your instructions for this data, Pathfinder? Download a copy, then erase the Rokar computer. Acknowledged. Copying complete. Erasure of Rokar files complete. Let's wrap things up and get back to our researchers. What have you brought us, Pathfinder? I got jumped by Rokar. They were researching harmful mutations, hoping to use them against us. I hope you put an end to their work. Do you have any of their data? May we see it? I copied the files before I erased the Rokar computer. I'll transmit everything. If nothing else, it may help us defend against future attacks. I scanned all the mutated wildlife I could find. I hope it helps your research. We're going to be overwhelmingly busy, aren't we? Thank you for everything, Pathfinder. We'll get to work. Welcome back. Is yours, Pathfinder? Oh, Gil wanted you to check in. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Why can't you just ask her yourself? Be because. Because? Just because. knows I can't divulge patient information. <sighs> Useless. Now, 
exaltation. The cat just keep asking for more trouble. Really looking forward to kicking those guys in their teeth. Get us there, and we'll save you a place in line. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? Why is that on your mind? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while you were killing me at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. It took you this long to figure that out? I told you, I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oosh. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. There are other ways to reproduce. It doesn't have to come from a romantic relationship. I guess I could donate DNA, or however it works. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part, brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. At least we managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have saved more. Beginning approach. Vold orbit is steady. Approaching the LZ. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall.
I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Impressive vehicle, yes? We call it the Nomad. I'm an amateur mechanic myself. Build vehicles for my people. Upload this schematic for your mechanic, with my compliments. They can upgrade your vehicle's shielding once you find the needed components. He lives for this shit. It will make his day. My long lost brother. <laughs> You can find some of what you need here on Vault. The rest, out and about. Anyak is wasting time. Yes, Michelle's explosion. She would have known exactly how to protect herself. We can put a pod together. Go back out there. Heron. I heard about the Ketam. Good to see you again, Commander Dozil. And you, Jal. You must be the Pathfinder who saved the Moshai. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. Thank you for allowing us into your base, Commander. Your actions display your soul's intentions. I hope you will join the fight against the Ket. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. That's why I came here. To help. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? How are you holding up against the Ket? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the Ket, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the Commander needs recruits, we'll find them. I'm an outsider. How could I convince anyone to join your resistance? You may be an outsider, but Jarl is an experienced soldier with unmatched passion. He's inspired the will to fight in so many of us. And you're the hero who saved our Moshai. That carries weight. Jaws right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you, you send my way. You have my gratitude, both of you. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions.
hope they give me a control soon. You think I'll... Is he any yet? Not likely. They don't mention it. From this room, we keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. You don't win a war without good organization. An impressive surveillance system. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Davia Kars, Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. How does the Resistance plan to win this war? We don't have the forces to fight a planet-wide war. Our only hope is a strategic strike. The center of all Ked operations on Vold is across the valley. If we take down their command structure, it will weaken them. At least, that is our hope. Is that a map of Vault? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time, as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Tejix, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the Ked have occupied. The bright spots on the map, are those cities? Cities under siege by the Ked, yes. The largest, Destroyer, was our capital. Was? It's hard to think of a city as a capital when it's just a maze of empty streets and burnout buildings. But buildings can be rebuilt. We are more than our cities. Tell me more about Astraya. It's the recent focus of Ked attacks. They think they can break our spirit by tearing down our walls. The Ked learn that we fight to the death, and they would rather we submit. So they destroy our Dara, our homes. They drive us into the cold and expect us to give in. They underestimate the Angora. You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angora who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the Ked are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ked camps. The Ked know this and use it against us. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here.